Hey, you guys, and thanks for tuning in to ET Live. I'm Katie Krause, and Ross Lynch is here. Thanks for being here yes, on a thank Friday. You for me. Yeah, yeah. Friday before Halloween. It's a fun day. Uh, your new movie, My Name is Dahmer, is that it? My Friend Dahmer. My Friend Dahmer. My Friend Dahmer, yeah. friend Dahmer mm -hmm. is so interesting, so Did creepy. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, cool. I watched it. Awesome. Uh, last night, actually. Uh, we want to play a little clip for you guys before we get into it, just so that they can familiarize themselves. And also, make sure you guys send in all your questions for Ross. We're going to take them right here on E2's iPad. Let's play that clip. Out of the way, Dama. Dumbass. I wish I had a best friend. Jeff's a little off, you know? Yeah. I think he's kind of hilarious. <laughs> I like bones. It interests me what's inside. God, Dahmer, you are such a freak! <sighs> it's intense. <laughs> I mean, you're playing the high school version of one of the most infamous serial killers ever to live. Pretty so much. kind of walk me through the journey that we're gonna see in this movie that people are gonna see. Essentially, My Friend Dahmer is based off a graphic novel of uh, from Dirk Bachdorf, who was actually went to high school with Jeffrey Dahmer. Right. And it was sort of his experience with Jeffrey Dahmer um, but actually at the time of going to high school with Dahmer he didn't actually obviously think that he was going to become a serial killer yeah so um so it's it's a uh, it's an interesting it's an inter interesting yeah. story yeah it's kind of the making though of him turning into a serial killer Definitely. and all the signs that you see in his obsession with bones and mm -hmm. and death it's a very dark role and it's very different from from what we've seen you as was that kind of the goal in taking on this project? It was definitely, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like the main goal, mm -hmm. but it was a reason for sure. Yeah. It was. It was along with the script and, and the team who was already on it. The fact that it was a book was all obviously very interesting to me. Um, the content matter was very interesting to me. The fact that it was a serial killer. It was. It was kind of everything, to be honest with you. And then obviously coming from Disney, yeah. just kind of puts the cherry on top because it kind of makes it a little more interesting. Yeah, something so different. Yeah. Walk me through the process in preparing for this mentally. I mean, were you reading up on him? Were you, what kind of research were you doing? I did a lot of research. Um, I obviously read the book. Mm -hmm. I read uh, uh, tons of stuff, like everything that he did basically. Yeah. But what was really good is there's a lot of footage from Dahmer after he got caught where mm -hmm. he, he kind of walks you through everything that he did and why he did it. Um, and that's really where I did most of my research, just because I like to watch him and mm -hmm. kind of see how he was and how he moved and, and certain things like that. So that was the best content that, yeah. I, that I got to see. That, my, that was the best research. But the, one of the interesting things about this movie is I never had, uh, I didn't have any downtime before this movie was shot. I was, I was pretty much working consistently up to. So like the entire time, and, and the work that I was doing before was a chorus line, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's not Jeffrey Dahmer. It's completely opposite, actually. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was also doing a comedy film. So uh, the whole time I'm doing these other projects, I'm like researching serial killers. Oh, jeez. Was that hard yeah. to kind of switch <laughs> your brain between the two, like the comedy and the lightheartedness, and then getting into the mindset of playing a serial killer? Um, not necessarily. No, because okay. once you're, once, honestly, once you're in the atmosphere, yeah. you've got the clothes on, I've got the glasses on. I've done the research, I'm in that world, mm -hmm. and I'm in that moment, then it's, uh, you just gotta kind of be there. Yeah. <laughs> you Did know? you have to do anything physically to prepare for this? Like, working out? Yeah. No. There's I, some shirtless scenes in yeah. there. <laughs> well, the, the shirtless scenes are because um, the significance of that in the film is mm -hmm. Dahmer killed his first victim with those dumbbells that his father gave him. So there's certain things planted throughout the film that have significance towards yeah. what he'll later do. What surprised you the most when you were preparing and researching and learning about this guy? Uh, there's, a, there's honestly a lot. Yeah. Um, one of the things that surprised me most was uh, how charismatic he was. Um, he, that's really how he got most of his victims is, is he was actually like a charming dude. He would mm -hmm. go to these bars and he'd, and he'd pick them up and then just bring them home. Um, which was, he, he was gay, so it was, it was all men. Mm -hmm. um, and he actually, using that charisma, got out of a lot of shifty situations where one time he was, like, drinking and driving with a body in the trunk. And a cop pulled him over, and he talked himself out of it. 
And that's, <laughs> that's insane, though. Yeah, yeah. Even, even in any scenario, that's insane to yeah. just talk yourself out of drinking and driving, but there was a body in the right, car. Right, a dead body, and the literally cop, in your car. Yeah, and the cop made a reference. He was like, what's that smell? And, and Dahmer was just like, oh, I'm taking the trash out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so then, it's, he's, he's interesting. It's very fascinating stuff. Yeah. What, um, what was the most challenging part? I imagine that it must have taken some sort of toll on you and yeah. your brain and I don't know. Ch the most challenging part? I think just kind of like maybe the most challenging part was uh, not second guessing my, my decisions. Mm. Um, and just kind of like being, you know, being like, cause, cause I, I've never done something like this before. This was my right. first time, like obviously playing a serial killer and there's definitely, um, you know, I wanted to do good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that was, that definitely played a part, but, um, yeah, yeah, it was honestly, I, I just went day by day, just mm -hmm. trying to do my best. We're going to take some fan questions, and okay. I want to get back to the movie. These actually might be movie-related, but look how many are coming in. Um, Sarah says, what is your favorite part that you shot for my friend Dahmer? Um, there's, there's a few parts. One of them is uh, Dahmer has a scene where he's convincing a girl to go to prom with him, mm -hmm. and that's when you get to see the charismatic Dahmer. Because throughout the film, you know, it mostly is antisocial and kind of like... And he's getting bullied a lot. Kind of. Yeah. Not not a ton. Honestly, Dahmer wasn't really, he wasn't really picked on all that much because he was a big, strong guy. Yeah. He was, you know, he was built like a linebacker, so not really many people messed with him. Oh. Not that much. He yeah. was teased, yeah. but not that much. Um, but I, I really like that scene because I, I got to show, like, the charismatic Dahmer. Yeah. Um, and then a, another scene towards the end of the film where it's Dahmer and Durf. I don't want to give too much away, but it's... Uh, it's a very important scene for the film, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it was—I thought it was—it was some of the best acting in the film, I think. Yeah. Okay. For, for me and Alex, who plays Durf. Um, Amber says, "Oh wow, this is most definitely the right move for you. This movie is going to be great." Thanks, Amber. Um, <laughs> Sophia says, "Did I you get so this?" I, it is. It's great. Um, Sophia says, "Did you get this role offered to you, or did you audition?" I auditioned. I did. What was the audition process like? It was. So originally I got the script, uh -huh. and I actually met with our director, Mark Myers, before I even read the script. I, oh. I should, honestly, I should have read it, but uh -huh. I, there was a lot of stuff going on. I was on tour at the time. Okay. So I was in New York, and I met with him, and, and we got on great. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was good. And then I, so I read the script. I was back on tour, and I did self-tape. And uh, our on-tour photographer, <laughs> when I was done with the self-tape, he was like, dude, you're going to get this role. So and he taped it, though, for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, our, um, our on-tour photographer. Yeah, Did yeah, I say that's, that? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. what I meant. I was like, you're yeah. on, you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he was helping me film it. Um, it's actually a really good friend of mine as well, uh, who's releasing a book soon. Ah. Oh. Um, and then I was back in New York, and Mark Myers and I had, like, a three-hour work session together where we just ran a bunch of scenes, and it went really well. Anything that you were hesitant to do or take on with this role? Like, were you you know, playing a serial killer, like, is this the right move for me? Um, there was, I mean, maybe for a split second, mm -hmm. but it really wasn't, there wasn't ever a time where I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. You yeah. Know what I mean, once I was, once it was available to me, I was ready to go deep into it, you know, at yeah. first. Do you hope that this, I guess, opens doors for you moving forward and It already has. <laughs> has it, really? Yeah. Like, what kind of Well, doors? it just, it, you know what, people... A lot of times people look at ex-Disney actors in a very particular way. You have a, a certain perception. Sure. Um, and, and not that I specifically went out to break that mold with this film. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that it would definitely help and I knew that it would change things a lot um, for the better. Mm -hmm. And it has and I'm, I'm really, really grateful for it. <laughs> what is your